you know what every video game in 2024 has? A season pass. And as we all understand by now, it's not a good sign when a game is built around a season pass. It usually shows that these games aren't made with passion, but rather with the sole objective of making more money. When you look closely at these games, you'll see that even though the season pass may be well made with cool interfaces, new skins, and cosmetics, everything else around it is either unfinished or poorly done. You'll find bugs, poor optimization, and in many cases, the game isn't even fully finished. Unfortunately, our beloved game fell into the same trap back in 2019 or 2020 when the concept of a season pass was popularized. Keffer, like many other studios, saw an opportunity, a chance to make more and more money. However, I, I don't think a season pass is a terrible idea in itself. It's an additional way for developers to keep players engaged regularly in exchange for rewards and cool looking skins. This way, devs can earn money while focusing on bigger updates and maintaining a steady flow of content. But as we know by now, that's not what happened in Last Day on Earth. Seasons were supposed to be an addition to the game, an easy way for devs to make money while working on updates, right? Well, now seasons are a complete and integral part of the game. The devs continue making more money while not working on any major updates. They're just focused on greedy tactics to get players to open their wallets. The rewards aren't as good as they used to be. Skins and cosmetics are harder to get. There are countless offers that aren't worth it. Constant pop-ups when you launch the game. And progress in events is locked behind paywalls, like we saw with the headhunting event, and much more. Honestly, I could forgive them for all of this if they were releasing updates regularly. Like I said, Seasons have the ability to entertain players for some time while waiting for more content, and it allows the devs to earn a profit without doing much to it. There will always be players who pay for the season pass. As for me, I enjoy the game. I play it regularly and understand that devs need to make a living, but where are the updates? I don't see them at all. To be honest, if the game continues on this path, I might quit the game for a while and come back when the big updates happen. I don't think these big updates will happen soon, because if you just look at the 2024 roadmap that they released back in August, 40 days later, and we only got the headhunting event, which was declared the worst event of all time. Now it's the holidays, so they'll probably just release special events for Halloween, Christmas, and New Year with, as always, some temporary content that we will never see again. In my previous video where I talked about the state of LDOE in 2024 and what changed, I mentioned the seasons and that they were one of the reasons LDOE fell to the ground. Let's talk more about them in detail. Seasons in LDOE started back in 2019 with the first season in August. It was new and fun with tasks throughout the week to earn rewards. And we all know how much LDOE players love extra rewards. As far as I remember, every season had a theme, Christmas, winter, spring, robberies, the crazy fair, contracts, deliveries, and so on. We knew it was temporary content, and we hoped it would stay or come back as permanent content in future updates. Still, it was fun and enjoyable. But at some point, from season to season, the themes disappeared. From what I can gather on the wiki, this started in season 19. From that point on, the seasons stopped changing. Maybe there was a rework of the interface, nerfing the events, changing rewards, surface level updates. Now we're in season 63. It's the same events, same rewards, and the same boring seasons we've had for years. Nothing has changed. As for updates, we had settlements, expeditions, the transport hub. But you can't deny that updates have slowed down. You know why? Because the devs have become lazy they don't need to work on as many updates as before because the seasons are already bringing in a lot of money. Players still pay for the season pass every month, and they're happy with that. As I said in the beginning, the season pass is supposed to be something that would help devs make a profit while working on bigger and better updates, but that's not what happened. Seasons do have a place in LDO, like in any other game, but they should just be an addition, 
just that. However, the devs have made them an integral part of the game and rely on them to slow down updates while still making a profit. And I'm gonna say it again, I understand that Kafer needs to make a living, but come on, we players want updates. We want permanent content, new locations, new resources, new weapons, new bosses, multiplayer, and much more. But I have a feeling we won't see these for a while. That's it for this video. Let me know your opinions in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.